Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 6th episode of Midara na Aouchan wa Benkyo ga Dekinai. The title is always so difficult to actually remember because I it's so easy to forget to mix up where the particles are. But anyway, yeah, last episode, we uh, we had to oh, find out something about Kijima, the fact that he's a virgin. And when she found that out, she went from being like, you know, pushing him away from being a normie to being very just, you know, condescending towards him because of because she found out that he's a virgin and, you know, putting on airs and stuff, you know, acting as if she's not, you know. that's That was a big thing is that she just really acted like she wasn't, you know. And uh, and yet somehow, despite all this, all that behavior, the episode still managed to somehow end with her saying that she's scared and running off to Miyabi. That's I still don't quite understand how we got to that point, but but sure, whatever. Uh, I I do kind of blame, but I, I still blame uh, Ao for that situation and have the way that it is. You know, that's just my opinion. So let's just get into it and see you know where things go from here. So three, two, one, play. Well, then maybe you should have acted like that. <laughs> it was a great face she made, though, there. I definitely can't say matter with a face like that. Okay. Does she live near a waterfall? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how that would help with any of this. Private waterfall. How many people have private waterfalls? Is drink energy drinks and stay awake. I saw those bags under your eyes before. Yeah, please don't die. I don't think it works that way. I don't. I think you may be taking this too seriously. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want that. I, yeah, I think it's for the best right one that you sleep. I, it, it wasn't implying you sleep with her. Gotta love this opening. <laughs> is that the editor back there? I guess it is. <coughs> He has one of the more generic character designs of the show, so... Never really noticed him. I really do love the water freezing effect there. Pew. Get a room, you two. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> meat fest, you say? Well, I've been impressed with the meetup scene so far. Oh, wow. Damn. I'm checking it out. You definitely. He's clearly. Yeah, I bet he did. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Yeah, I think we may have just found heaven. Just meat everywhere, putting meat in people's mouths, jiggling meat. <laughs> uh, a den of depravity. Just degenerates everywhere. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get caught up in some meat. Uh, this certainly is an interesting place. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Somebody's hungry. I think we should get this girl some meat. It's everywhere, so... Should be enough to satisfy her. That was not Yabe. I know Yabe's really generic looking, but you can't just mistake people for him. <laughs> well, she's now lost in the... Oh, by Matsuri. Oh. Wow, she's here. 
She looks pretty good in that outfit. Looks very good in that outfit. She's not as meaty as some of the other girls, so I'm kind of surprised that she's... <laughs> uh, we would never say that you have a smaller chest than the others. You still look great in that. Well, your girl needs money. <laughs> uh, just keep finding her in this place. Well then, this was a development. <laughs> uh, how do you process this? I think you did. <laughs> we can't have that. <laughs> That's a great line to take out of context. At least, at least not that found us. Or Tada, whatever his name was. Wow. <laughs> Why don't she just, she's like, wanna trade? They're amazing works of literature. What's your problem? Yeah, it might be hard to keep that a secret here. So his name was Yabe, okay. Given name. Well... <laughs> That's a good- that was a good response. And yet you use her family name. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh... Man, he's pretty good at this. He's winning this battle quite easily. She seems a bit angry. You know, that thing there. <laughs> uh, I find a CN. You can man, using the word we you. <laughs> well then. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Hot damn. Uh... I I know it was supposed to be funny, but I just it was too wonderful of a sight to laugh at. I mean that's some high quality way to be delivered meat. But anyway, it was funny though. I just it was too stimulating for me to laugh at at the time. <laughs> okay, so that explains that. I did think that was your family name, so thank you for clarifying. So, yeah. And now Al has a wrong idea of how close they are because of that. The misunderstanding. Yeah, you know that makes you jelly. Wow. It just, just screams Normie here. Really? There's just so much meat, it's... I kind of expect Senna to be here. He does, they're just misunderstandings all over the place, as they usually are. <laughs> I don't think they ever did that. Her name is fine. It's a very nice giggle. So is Miyabi going to be in this uh, fantasy as well? To ruin things, or... Until you say my name. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> okay, but I mean Oh Well then <laughs> Uh
Well, good point. Where'd he go? Well, there's meat everywhere, so I can't blame the guy for getting a bit distracted and a bit lost. He's a good guy. Cool. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. And stopped. <laughs> About time that, you know, we switch gears and now he's got the one being all jealous. Oh. <laughs> hey, not gonna give her up. Well, it's... <laughs> By the situation that I was got put in. <laughs> wow, he's straight up take he's straight up taking her. Uh, to kidnapping everyone. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll be back eventually. Uh <laughs> He just ran off with her. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, he might want to cool down a bit. Basically, just kidnapped her. Good. Yeah, she has that effect on people. <laughs> this means you're on the same page. Okay. What are you going to say here? Oh, close, too close. And that's a note we end off on. This was a good episode. I like this one. Mostly because of the location of it. But still. Okay. That's, uh, that's that button. Okay. So that was the sixth episode of Midara na Aochan wa Benkyo ga Dekinai. So this episode... Yeah, uh, we have our, you know, uh, well, new character. I don't know if he's a new character. He might have shown up at some point before, but he's never been this plot relevant. Uh, Nabe, you know, the, the editor for Bao's mother. And he decided that he would take her to the meat festival. I don't remember if that was, exactly, if that was actually what it was called, but uh, we know it was really an opai festival, honestly. So, yeah, that was the thing. That was, I mean, it was something that came back from the opening and just, like, just everywhere, just... Uh, it was it was interesting, you know, a uh, den of depravity. That's a pretty great name for it. So yeah, I mean, what better place to take somebody really, especially take a girl too. And yeah, there was just it was a meat festival. There was meat everywhere. Of course, she lost Nabe pretty pretty quickly, and then mistook another person for Nabe, and then that led to an awkward situation, and she just kind of ran away. However, she did also run into Miyabi, who was also working there, wearing a uniform like the other girls. However. Unlike the other girls, she doesn't quite fill hers out the same way, which I'm personally okay with. I'm very much okay with that, but Miyabi, I think, is might be a little bit, uh, you know, self-conscious about that, and especially with some of the, you know, reactions that we got from Oh, I don't think she was a big fan of that. I did like all the squeezing of Ao's cheeks that she does really shows you, you know, how close they are. When, you know, when you can just squeeze a girl like that in public, you know you're pretty close as a general role, but seriously, she did look really good in the outfit. I I quite liked it. Things started to go wrong, though, when Takumi, Kijima, whatever you want to call him, he just he showed up, and he's working there as well. 
And uh, Al was not a big fan of that. It was not a big fan of him using her given name. Which is obviously represents closeness in Japan. However, what Ao did not know was that this was something special for this situation. Because there was another, you know, Takaoka there. So to avoid confusion, he was using her given name. Not because of any closeness. But she didn't know that. So she kind of took that the wrong way. And then you have Kijima seeing Nabe there with her. To make him all jealous and all that. And because they're pretty close as well, but not quite, you know, in a way that he wants to be close with her. It's more of a, he's more of an uncle. It's kind of, I would kind of describe it as. But yeah, the back and forth between those two guys was pretty funny. I mean, Takumi kind of pretty thoroughly lost that battle of words there, I would say. But yeah, I was so worried that the fact that he was, that her further father's work would get out here. But luckily, Nava's was pretty cool. He didn't, you know, really leak anything. And Nava was pretty, pretty happy about that. She went from looking so worried to be pretty happy about that. But, uh... Let's see. I'm trying to get back to the one bit on in the... Yeah. Something about uh, girl, people getting close by grueling meat together. And when we saw this one visual in Ao's head of, of Takumi and Miyabi just laying in bed together... With the whole naked apron thing going on there, although not completely naked, uh, naked enough, it just really meet because he had just had the stove on the side, on the bed, on the bed in the hotel. Room. <laughs> oh god, that was such a weird thing. I don't think anybody would actually do that, but that would be pretty funny. That would be pretty, pretty. That would be something, something to remember. But eventually, yeah, he tracked her down, uh, ran away with her. And wanted some sort of uh, response from her. Because he's made his feelings towards her pretty clear. But I guess she's been a little bit more vague about them. So he's trying to really get to the meat of that. Trying to get some sort of uh, you know confession from her. And yeah, he just, he just kidnapped her to do that. It's like Nabe shows up and he just straight up like, Yoink! Bye! And just runs off with her. That was pretty great. Just And she's like, oh well, I, I guess I'm leaving now. I'll catch up with you later. That was pretty funny too. Although, you know, it was a pretty fun episode, I would say. Oh, it was a pretty great, great character. I like Miyabi, too. I mean, wow, yeah, I forgot how great the other bits of the episode were. Anyway, uh, you know, I like Miyabi as well. She obviously came across as a pretty bad person, you know, kind of a bitch in the first segment. But, I mean, she was growing on me because she's pretty, pretty fun in her own way. I still wouldn't call her a good person at all. Definitely not. But, it's, but I, I like her. She's fun. But man, the outfits that these part-timers wore are just, it's its pretty good. I certainly approve. Uh, and that's that. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.